What's up everybody? Tiffany Outdoors here today. I went on a little hunting adventure. Let me show you what I found. There's the hawk. Before there was a Tiffany Outdoors, there was Tiffany the Farmer. On the U-turn when possible. No, we're not. Isopod hunting adventure today and look at that beauty found quite a few quite a few so I'm gonna set these guys up in a bin and this culture here I'm gonna test out some different food items with these guys to see see what they'll eat all right, let me get these out of here and into a separate bin so we can get these guys set up real quick like. All right, so I have um, got all my isopods out. I've sexed them. I've got four females, three regular males, one peach male, and one juvenile. And I'm going to put these guys in a small small bin here. I'm going to set them up in here. So first thing I'm going to do is give them some of my isopod substrate and I'm going to give them a magnolia pod. I'm going to bury that down in there a little bit. Oh, springtails. Put in some springtails. Alright, got some springtails in there, got a leaf in there, and let's see, crumple up some leaves in here, I'll crumple up some leaves in this corner for their food and hiding, and I want to put a pinch of my food mix in here. I'm going to put a pinch of that right there. Small pinch. Whatever's left over, if it begins to spoil, the springtails will take care of that. And I'm going to get them some, some prepared food. Alright, this is a really small culture, so I'm going to give them a little, little nib of this morning wood. Alright. Alright, let's put our babies in there. So gently. There we go. That peach one is so pretty. You don't see them that color very often. Not at all. All right, let's pop the top on and leave them to their isopod business. This culture is pretty small. I'm going to be opening it pretty frequently, so I'm not going to poke any holes in the lid. So every time I open it up every two to three days, fresh air will get in there. So these guys will be just fine in here. As long as you open it every few days, don't keep them in a permanent enclosure and never open it. That's a surefire way for them to die. All right, y'all. So this is my my um, test culture. I'm going to be putting some different leaves in there, like ones from the yard, like the sycamore leaves. I don't know if they'll eat that or not, but I'm going to test out and see with these guys, see if they like it. And I'm also going to try some rotten pine. I'm going to go collect some of that and put some of that in there also. And um, 
I will keep you guys updated on this test culture. I'm going to call this TC1, test culture 1. And hopefully we'll get some more peach babies out of there. So that would be amazing. Absolutely amazing. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye.